Hi everyone, um, I'm doing a, my newborn must-haves video today. Um, Gwenevere's just eventually gone down for a nap, she's quite late going down for it today so I've been meaning to record this uh, quite a while. Um, so I'm hoping the lighting is still okay, I'm sat in front of the window, um, I'm hoping the sun stays out. Um, so yeah, this is a list of items that I've been using that I've found really, really useful for these early kind of weeks um, with a newborn. Um, so Guinevere is seven weeks now, so it's kind of things that I've found useful so far. Um, I will put the names and links and prices to everything in the description box below if anyone's interested. Um, they're mostly all Amazon links, so... Um, but um, a lot of these things you can buy at different places, but if you want to check them out on Amazon, um, the links will be there anyway. So I've also got some notes um, that I'll refer to because it's got um, the prices, etc. on there. So it's just so so I know what I'm talking about. So the first item is Ewan the Sleep Sheep. This is Ewan. Um, he has like a Velcro tail that you can attach onto the cot or the bassinet or push chair or whatever um, so he's a, a cuddly toy but he has uh, four pre-programmed sounds um, and the sounds um, are womb and heartbeat sounds uh, rainfall uh, and then there's a couple of ones which are heartbeat sounds to music as well uh, Ewan costs £29.99 um, which I know that seems quite a lot, but um, it's brilliant. Um, it actually helps me get to sleep as well. So we obviously, when uh, Guinevere has her last feed of the night, um, we put her in the snooze pod and um, play him. Here's like a couple. So that's one of the music ones. Um, you can have it on for um it's different times on here you can have it on loud or quiet um you can have it on um normal um like length of time which i think is about 20 minutes um i don't know if he's going to turn off now um and he also has a can you see it can't really see it in this light but he you can have the light on as well so it's like a glowing red red light if you see that uh, I don't personally have that on um, but you, yeah you can you can have that on if you want to um, so we found it really beneficial um, it soothes Guinevere it's you know it's nice for us to listen to when we're drifting off to sleep um, so yeah that's that's really good that's you and the sleep sheep um, here just play nicely in the background um, the next thing is the snooze pod. Um, I mentioned that in my last video. Um, I obviously can't show you it because it's a massive um, cot. <laughs> um, so the snooze pod is basically um, like a three-in-one thing. So you can have it as a standalone bassinet. You can have it as a portable uh, kind of like Moses basket, but you can lift it off of the stand. Um, or you can have it as a co-sleeper and we have it as a uh, co-sleeper at the moment so it's attached to our bed um, you have kind of straps and everything so it kind of you know make sure that it fits securely to your bed and it's fantastic because she can sleep right next to me so that in the night um, I can literally just reach over and get her um, but there's no danger of me rolling on her because she's in her own separate compartment um, so yeah it's one of the best things we've bought because i it you know i feel close to her but you know haven't got that worry of you know smothering her or anything in the night so um and it's really it's a really good quality one as well it cost um on amazon about 172 pound um but it's definitely worth it um it's really good quality sturdy um you can buy obviously the sheets and things for it separately you could put a separate mattress in there if you don't like the one that that's in there but we've had no problems with it it's you know pretty good quality um so yeah the snooze pod is definitely on on our must-have list um the 
next item is the um it's called a grow egg um the grow egg is a um room temperature thermometer and also has a night light now the night light changes color depending on the temperature so say for example in the middle of the night the room's too cold you can clearly see because the uh, the grow egg will be glowing blue um, you want it to kind of be um, green or orangey color they're kind of the um, the temperatures that, that are optimal for the room red is too hot um, so it, it tells you on the display what the temperature is but obviously in the, in the middle of the night um, you don't want to get out of bed and actually read what it is so the, the night light will glow depending on the temperature so um, so that's been that's been really useful um, another one is um, again from the grow company and it's called the grow light um, and this is what it looks like here the grow light so basically what it is you add it into either your lamp or your ceiling um, light so you fit this bayonet bit into um, into your um, lamp, for example, we've got ours in a, in a bedside lamp, and then in this bit you would put a normal light bulb, and then when you turn it on one click, the night, the night light comes on, and then if you put it on two clicks, your normal lamp goes on. So the good thing about this is that if you still want to use your normal light, you can still use it um, like that as well. So, um, yeah, that's the um, the grow light. And the good thing about this one is I've, we've had a couple of night lights and none of them, it's either been too bright, so having my bedside lamp on is too bright for me to turn on in the middle of the night to feed Guinevere. It wakes, well, fill up, makes me more awake and also wakes her up, whereas I really want to kind of just feed her and have her go back to sleep. Um, and then some of the other ones we've had have just been too dim, so I've been having to use my mobile phone torch anyway. Um, and this one is actually really, really good. There is a dial on the side so you can have different intensity of light. Um, but this light for me personally gives me enough um, light to be able to um, feed her and you know things like that. Um, in the middle of the night and it's not too bright so that we actually leave this on all night rather than having to reach up and turn on the lamp um, it's you know we have it on all night and it doesn't disturb our sleep so um, yeah the grey light is really good and that costs um, about 14.38 the price fluctuates I think when I bought it, it was about 17 pound uh, but yeah that's definitely a great thing to have um, the next item is um, some bottles that we've been using. So we've used loads of bottles so far. Uh, she only has one bottle a day, which is um, express breast milk purely so Phil can give her a feed and gives me an hour, you know, to have to myself. Um, and these are the best bottles that we personally um, like. Um, and also Guinevere seems to prefer these as well. They're called MAM bottles, M-A-M. I actually got one um, free with a baby magazine, so that's how I came across them. And we liked it so much that I bought the starter kit on Amazon. And the starter kit, I think, had two of this size bottles, which is 160ml, two of a larger size bottle, which I can't remember how much it is, but it was about, I don't know, about probably twice as high as that one. Um, two pacifiers and a teething um, kind of ring thing, which obviously she's not going to use yet. Um, and we got all of that for about £17.10. We obviously got the pink version. Uh, you can also get it in like a neutral colour and a green colour and obviously blue for boys. Um, but these are really good quality. Um, the teats are great. They're kind of like a satiny, um, silky satiny one. Um, and I've also bought the um, the teats for the next stage up, which is two months, um, which obviously just replace them. So I haven't got to buy buy a load of new bottles. So they're the MAM bottles that we prefer. Um, next item is 
Earth, Earth Mama Angel Baby Bottom Balm. Um, this cost eleven ninety five, I think it was, and it's a. I think it's about a two ounce. Yeah, two ounce um, pot. Uh, it smells really nice. It's kind of like um, minty-ish smell. Um, it's completely natural. Um, it's um, animal friendly, not tested on animals. Um, all natural ingredients and one of the reasons that I got this one is um, you can use it with cloth diapers which uh, Guinevere occasionally wears cloth diapers at the moment but I do plan for her to wear them a lot more when she is a bit bigger at the moment she's just too small to fit most of the ones that I've bought um, it's kind of like um, it's almost like a solid coconut oil type um, consistency I don't know whether you can see and it goes on really thinly, it's clear, um, it's not greasy but it's, it goes on really, it glides on really smoothly, um, she's not had any reactions to it, um, a couple of occasions where she has had some nappy rash, um, you know, it's, it's worked really well. Um, so yeah, this is definitely my favourite nappy cream, um, or bo bottom cream. Um, I've also got the nipple cream of this, um, this product. As well which is also really nice and you can use it for other things like you can use it on your lips you can use it on dry skin so um, I haven't actually had to use it very much for a nipple cream but um, it's good to know that it won't be wasted I can use it for other purposes um, the next thing are wipes we have mainly been using the water wipes um, we first bought them uh, to take in our hospital bag because we didn't want to have to faff around with cotton wool and water which is a real pain actually and I, I hate doing it now and I, well I don't really do it these water wipes pretty much are well it says 99.9% .9 water it's got a tiny bit of fruit extract in it um, so yeah they're basically water and wipes um, yeah they're fantastic they're really you know good for the skin you can also use them to kind of clean around their face um, so if you're, you know, it's great for babies or even uh, adults with allergies. Um, they are a lot pricier. I think we get them from Amazon and a pack of four is $8.99. Um, but they are really, really good. Um, so, yeah, so they're our, our favourite choice of wipes. Um next couple of items um, I haven't got to show you so we've got uh, muslins so they're kind of uh, like burp cloth muslin type things um, you can get them you know from various various places I haven't got any kind of specific ones I have put a link uh, to some ones you can get on Amazon but I've bought them from all range of shops they range from being really really cheap to getting some more expensive ones um, all I would say is get more than you think you need. We bought loads initially and then we've probably gone out and bought loads more twice over. They're just, you go through loads. Um, it's nice to know that if you haven't managed to wash any, you've still got a stack there. I use them for loads of, thing, loads of things. I use them for burping. I use them for um, drying her off after a nappy change so that I'm not wasting, um, you know, cotton wool or anything like that. Um, using it as a makeshift um, nappy changer I have one in my bag so that if we have to use like public nappy change and things I can put her muslin down first of all so that she's not you know touching the the um, the actual nappy changing unit um, yeah so muslins in ge in general buy loads of them they're great um, baby sleeping bag we have three different baby sleeping bags again you can get these from different shops this particular one here um is from mamas and papas i've got a couple from sainsbury's and i've also got uh, one from matalan which is a really cute bunny one and basically what it is is you've got poppers here so the baby goes you, you know you attach the baby in there and then you've got a zip goes all the way around so the baby's inside that and they go to sleep in that and the benefit of this is that 
you use it instead of blankets so there's no danger of um, the baby like kind of snuggling down and blankets going over their face um, so we've been using these really just um, the past few few weeks I decided we got bought one as a gift um, we used it and we liked them so much that we went and got a couple of others so I definitely recommend these there's you know it takes away the worry of them slipping under the blankets um, you can get them in different togs as well so you can get kind of thicker ones for the colder weather and you can get thinner ones for um, the warmer weather so I'll definitely keep using these even as she gets bigger um, I think these ones last until about six months anyway um, and then you can get um, bigger sizes so uh, yeah baby sleeping bags um, definitely recommend um, another item that we use a lot is the Fisher Price um, Rainforest rocker chair um, we did a lot of research on Amazon and um, looked at a lot of reviews and this one came like kind of in the price range that we were looking at this one came out as really good really sturdy um, she loves going in it it's really colorful um, she, yeah she loves sitting in it and if for any reason she's not having a nap when I have a shower she's perfectly happy sitting in there while I have a shower so um, it's a godsend in, in that regard that I can just pop her in there have a quick shower um, and nine times out of ten she's you know perfectly content sitting in there um, the only thing that I would probably say that would improve it is if it played music um, which it doesn't it vibrates it rocks and it's got a couple of little monkey things hanging off of it um, but if it played music that would be even better um, but that rocker costs 59.94 uh, there are two versions of this one there's the older version which apparently isn't isn't very good and then they did a new version um, on the back of feedback from people so make sure you get the newest version um, another item is the Bambino baby bean bag um, and it's really exactly what what it says the baby bean bag is uh, kind of like a, be a, a, a smaller than a normal bean bag and it's kind of shaped in a way that a baby can lay on it it has a um, Thing for the baby to sit in and strap in so there's no kind of that won't fall off um, but they're really really good she loves um, sitting in it it's really comfortable um, she will sometimes sleep fall asleep in it as well and I'm, I'm perfectly happy leaving her in there asleep I put a little blanket on her um, but yeah it's 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 really good it's just another portable thing uh, it's not heavy so we you know it'd be a great thing if you want you needed to take it away to travel um, and then mine came with an extra cover which is basically once they've outgrown it it's like a normal beanbag cover without the straps and stuff on it um so then it's basically the child's first beanbag just to use as a normal one um so um we have the neutral color but you can get them in a few different colors like obviously pink and blue um and i think a few other ones it's quite a lot it costs 44 pound 99 uh we got it bought as a gift from my uh sister and her partner um but yeah i love it the ba the um, bambino bean bag um definitely recommend okay and my last item is the baru breastfeeding nursing pillow um it looks similar in shape to the boppy pillow um i got bought this by my friends rachel and nathan as a baby shower gift um and it's been brilliant um i use it all the time um it's got a removable washable cover um I've got the neutral design but I think they do um, kind of pinky colours and blue colours and things like that and a couple of different other designs as well. Uh, this cost um, and there's not really a lot I can say about it, it's, it's, it's really good, it's, it's held its shape really well even though I use it every day multiple times a day. Um, it's a good firmness as well. Um, and it has her at the right height for what I need to feed her. You can wear it obviously on, on the front of you, you can wear it um, on the side. I also use it to prop up Guinevere if she's sat, you know, kind of on the sofa or something, she can kind of use this as a pillow. And I suppose you could use it as well for like, you know, one of those neck pillows for yourself. Uh, but yeah, so um, this is, is on my list as well. Um, 
So yeah, that's all of the items really that I kind of went through that I thought were worth kind of definitely mentioning. Um, I am going to hopefully do monthly favourites as well. So any other items that I've been using that particular month or at different stages of, um, you know, Guinevere's, um, you know, age, um, I will do those in monthly favourites. Um, so yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Click like if you have. Um, subscribe if you want to see uh, more of my videos. Um, and thanks for watching.